What's this? I'm sorry. I said, get out of here. Go away. Who said that? I'm there not we buying go. it, and I don't want it. I said I'm not buying it, and I don't want it. I'm not selling anything. Are you deaf? Get lost. Piss off. Go away. I can't Go. see you. Don't make me come outside. Don't make me come out, sir. No one's making you do oh. anything. It sounds like he's going to you, though. Could you do me a favor and go away now, please? And, like, I can't even see if he's got a gun pointed at me. I guess he's talking from the window, is he? Will you please go away and bother somebody else? What is this? Whatever you're selling, I don't want it. Okay, let's try and bowl up to the house, see what happens. You're all bastards! Bastards! Don't do it. He's got a gun. I know this is your house. A man's home is his castle. Yeah. I ain't here to cause trouble. Go away or I'll kill you. Please don't. I just want to see what's in your house. <laughs> He's running. Huh. Okay. You're dead. Is he going to shoot me through the window? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Come on, mate. I put down bigger than you. Come outside so I can disarm you. I don't want to kill you. This is your house. I just want to rob it. <laughs> Please. Uh, I don't need the money, but the camp does. I'll teach you a damn lesson. My friends, who are, I plan to help escape at some point, are going to need the cash. I guess that's one thing, right, to keep Thank my money God, for, instead of giving it to, like, Edith Downs. If, it, if like, people like Edith Downs aren't going to take it, just give it to John or someone. Go ahead, can you come out, please? He's not going to come out, he's waiting for me to go through the door. Let's see if he busts through. You bastard. Oh, no, it's coming back around. Oh, it's locked. He's locked the door. He's standing right in front of it. God, he's going to have, like, a shotgun aimed at me, isn't he? I'll make sure you never come back. Can I break the door open by a... No, I'm going to have to stand in front of it. That's going to end... It's going to end badly. It's going to end very badly, right? Oh, he missed. Ah. Put the gun down. I can't see what's happening. It's too dark. Okay. Uh, oh, please please don't reverse this. Oh, we got back up before I threw it. Oh, come on, Arthur. Be a bit quick. He didn't even drop the gun. I thought he dropped it. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Who is this guy? I'm going back. <laughs> I want to see what he's protecting. Why, why won't he leave the house? Maybe he's just got like um, a fear of leaving home. Do you think he will recognize me? Is that a thing? Do, do they know if you come back? Okay then. Oh, there was a deer on his property. Why didn't you shoot the deer? There's quite a few deers. Hello, I have returned. Is he there? Is anyone here? He's gone. He's gone? Where's he gone? He said like he was like a fucking hermit, mate. Where, where is he? He's just decided to leave. Okay, fine by me. Because he works out better that way, right? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> just lose $150. <laughs> Quite anything to make that worth my while. Must be protecting sand, right? Okay, you've got some money. How much? Ten dollars. Eleven dollars. <laughs> Come on. Where's the good stuff? Torn treasure map. Here we go. Or map map one. Uh, is it? If it's torn, uh, will it show where something is? But I guess I'll need the other half, right? Yeah. Okay, I guess the other half is found somewhere else. He, like, he ain't going to show the other half of the treasure map, is it? It's, it's going to show where the treasure is on the map, isn't it? It's not going to be a map to the other torn treasure map piece. Okay. So actually, according to my map, I just looked up to see what is in that house, because uh, it is an actual thing, obviously, because there's a map, uh, treasure map there. Apparently that guy has a rare shotgun. Which I'm obviously not going to get because he's now disappeared. <laughs> so maybe we can come back 
see if he sort of just comes home. I guess he's gone to the shops or something. Maybe we can get that shotgun then. I don't know what kind of shotgun it is. It just says rare shotgun. I guess it's pretty good. I mean, it killed me in one shot, which I would expect. Like, I was scared of that happening anyway. There's a strange mission here. Should we see who it is? Okay. Oh. Hello? Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... If I did mean harm, would I say so? We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. How did he die? Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. Is that it? <laughs> Let me teach you how to hunt, didn't we? If I remember rightly. Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. Yeah, this must be it. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. Couldn't even catch a darn mouse. That's probably a skill you should learn if you were going to move into the wilderness. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. I guess he ate the wrong sort of berries, right? Well... You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. Alright. But you better not try any funny business. Now, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. I'm sorry, but do you think you're a catch? Maybe have a bath first before saying something like that. You look a right mess. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're going to survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes, this is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small. There, look. Right. Oh! There you go. That's how you do it. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Oh. <laughs> good job. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean, what do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. The quality won't be great, but that'll be the pelt, right? The meat will be fine. I don't know why I didn't grab like a bow or something with me. Ugh. Oh my. <laughs> it worked. That is all there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. I mean, I didn't exactly teach her. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. Do you have a gun? I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. 
I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Punting? Isn't that when you, like, drop kick a baby? Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. Don't Whoa. try it. Stay back. Just to smell the dead rabbit. Get out of here. Do something, please. I gave them warning. Okay, yeah, got some more meat now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you see, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, oh, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Well, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds awful. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. Like, I mean, we've not really taught her much here. Like, she would have died if we weren't here, right? What's she going to do when we leave? She didn't shoot the rabbit. We did. She, like, tore it open, which is fine. Like, I would never be able to do that. <laughs> and then I killed the walls. It's a good job I came when I did, really, wasn't it? So I remember that interaction. I can't really remember the others. I think she might invite us in for a meal. But other than that, I don't quite know what we do with her. Because I think there's more stages. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm ah. dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. Yeah, sure. You need a bath. Right, that's what I'm remembering. I'm sorry, you waiting for me to leave? Yeah, so the second encounter must be we go in for a meal. Okay. Easy now. Yeah. So we're back at Dragic's. Factory? Lab? Whatever. There's something in here to grab. I can see it on my map, right? Professor? Oh, he's dead. Oh, shit. I didn't realize he was dead. Where's your creation now? That's a lot of blood. Oh, yeah. There's electric lantern. Can I grab it? Let me grab. Okay. Where did his son go? Though, you know. Maybe it killed him. Oh, there is a note here. Uh, inventor's note. Invisible waves, ghost waves, mystery waves, magic waves, waves you cannot see. I guess maybe this is like a name he's trying to come up with. I'm sure the robot is pinned on my uh, genie map. So I'm sure we will find it somewhere. I actually don't know where it is. I think you can actually use the lantern to help find it. I don't know if it actually points to anything now. I guess maybe it changes color. Oh, it actually does. It actually does change colour. Is red better or white's better? I guess it's pointing you in the direction of where he is, right? So if he was on this path, going this way, maybe he's in the snow. Inspect another note. Five years, one automaton. We see funding, win, top, scientist, prize. Six years, two automatons. Okay, this is like, he's like, what do you see yourself in 15 years' time? 10 years' time, 100 automatons, become very rich man. 15 years, automaton army, take over the world. <laughs> uh, I do, I got some mail back as well, I guess, from the cigarette cards. I'm guessing that's what it's for. I'll check, just in case, right? It's got some letter from somebody. Good to see you back, sir. Yeah, hello. What mail do you have for me? Yeah, cigarette cards. $100 and ginseng Alexa. 
It'd be pretty good if I need the elixir and the money. Bye. Bye. No more kinky handcuffs. Okay, now let's uh, go on to Reverend Swanson, I guess? What does he want? Is this one of those things where it says it's Reverend Swanson, but isn't Reverend Swanson? Shit. Oh my god. I thought I was in camp already. I thought I was a guard saying, who's there? This <laughs> person, off are you, jackass? <laughs> no, it's fucking Murphy's. And I've not got a good position to hide here. Oh god, god, you get shot in dead eye. I thought it's like slowed it down so you didn't. That's why I did it. Oh, come on. Where's the execution? Can I not execute? Oh, for fuck's sake. Why do I keep getting bombarded when I'm just like chilling in first person? Because it really fucks me up. <laughs> See, you no, know, I weren't paying attention, right? I thought I'd entered camp. <laughs> I thought it was Bill that said that. <laughs> I like I pressed left trigger expecting to lock onto somebody to say it's Arthur. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that, we are in camp now. Yeah, that must have been really close. We got no I'm lookouts in this one. Right, hey, Jack, you're the lookout, are you, mate? How you doing? Things are gonna be okay, Jack. Can I go play in the caves? No. I ain't safe in there. Hey, right, Reverend Swanson. You says you want to talk to me, but I don't think it is a mission for you. <coughs> Reverend? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? As best as I can be. I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> it sucks when that happens. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion and then we disappear we need more commotion one score and one whole hell of a lot of noise we ain't so good at doing scores anymore dutch are you feeling all right arthur are you sure i'm fine pardon me for interrupting i brought a friend arthur hello hello dutch this is eagle flies his father is a great chief Charles and I, we, um, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. He's going to use them. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. <gasps> Did he say that? What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. This is his smoke, right? His commotion. Yeah. Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. Sorry, Reverend Swanson. We'll talk later. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. These bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. 
The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. See, if Dutch doesn't care, right? If it ends with death, slaughter of these people. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. You still believe that? Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone mm -hmm. but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. <laughs> noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. Oh, the zombies are condescending. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Mm -hmm. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. It'd, it'd be a lot more trust if you were actually more forthright with that plan, though, right? Instead of just saying, I have a plan. And also, we don't know how much is in the chest. You're not saying how much money we have. That would help, too. You know, you don't need to be so vague. And you would actually go a lot further in trying to build trust with the gang. There's Peter. Hello. His men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, did, did anyone else see that man chasing those pigs over that bridge? <laughs> Alright. Let's head out. That's from the hillbilly town, right? <laughs> we need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Okay. Like, even when I'm sick, I'm doing the rowing. That's a piss take, isn't it? Why isn't Charles doing this? Or Dutch? Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Will you be quiet? If I could hear you, that guy would hear you. Like, he's closer. I just heard his neck snap. Try not to kill anyone. I think he's dead. <laughs> you mind the horses? I need a smoke. Oh, no, not again. And had a snip of a good head all night. I'll be retiring in the morning at this rate. Like, I agree with that Native American to um, rescue these horses because these horses might mean stuff to them, right? They might really like those horses. Like if someone stole by a dog, there's like some guy just said, just go get another dog. I like, fuck off, I'm gonna go rescue my dog. I'm in. Oh, yeah, that guy was looking right at us. He, he didn't see me. We can go higher than that. God damn. What have I got on me? Very nice. Did he say to do it quietly, right? I don't want to shoot him just in case his mission failed. Oh. Why am I doing war? Boys, go find out about those horses down below. Someone took out two. Deal with that anchor. Who did that? That's really good. It's probably Charles, right? Release the anchor. Okay. Oh, plant dynamite. Okay. You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up then. Hurry. 
That's a good point. I'd probably like lose a hand trying to figure that out. I guess you just pull the lever, maybe? There's a big red lever. I'll try that first. Come on, Arthur. But it might take more than one man, right, to do that. It's quite big. Heavy. When in doubt, blow it up. Do you know what you're doing? He's put that full throttle. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, he's got whiplash again. That can't be good. Didn't help last time, did it, when he hit his head? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Boys all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. Boys, get him out of here. Oh, go on. Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. <laughs> the horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you come go on. after the others? Okay. I mean, they're your horses. You would think they would listen to you more. Okay. Over here, come on. Okay, follow me, please. This is an ugly ass horse. That one's quite nice. And they're both sort of the same, those two. Yeah, those two are nice. They've got the fucking ugly one. I don't like the half tone, right? With the spots like halfway. I don't, I don't like that. The stamina isn't that high though here. When it is going down, the horse will stop wanting to swim. We should bust a move. How are you two horses doing? You okay? I'm like fucking Chris Pratt leading the pack of velociraptors. We all good, guys? Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur will... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. What? I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combs. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. My father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Big with rageful. Yes. Would you? Ah, yes, of course. Of course I will. Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. It's... I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. It feels so bad to say no in that situation, right? When I did my low one playthrough. Will you go, Arthur? Please help him. No! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny, but it, it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> now, for that cutscene that just happened, right? We obviously don't want them to um, get into trouble and stuff. It makes sense for us to say we would help for it. That's why like, Lower End doesn't make so much sense narratively, but it is funny. <laughs> and the, ga the gameplay is really cool to play. Just fucking around, not giving a shit about anything. But we will go talk to his old man and try and sway the son from his warren and hopefully stop Dutch from organising a slaughter of their people, right? Because that's obviously what he wants. He wants to use them as a distraction. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode where we probably won't be doing that. Probably be helping Micah, I guess. Bye-bye.